<laughs> Welcome back to the Saturday AM Garden. You cold? It's a little bit it's a lovely peppy. morning. Now listen, jetting off to Disneyland or shacking up at the Ritz, it's not everyone's idea of a holiday. And with the lovely summer that we've had, maybe it's time to get a bit closer to nature. Maybe it is. Camping can be fun, cheap and a safe Reason. way to get in touch with the great outdoors and have a great time doing it. So Rover Scout, Megan Little is here to show us how to get started. Morning, Megan. Megan you're going to sell camping to us, are you? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to anyway. I was okay. saying to Megan before we started, I have to put my hands up and say, at the age of 33, <clears throat> I've, never, <laughs> I've never been camping in my life. What Ever? I, what? Never. Asta. No, I never have. Am I well, missing out on it? I think you really are. So, like, the first thing, really, <laughs> when you're going, like, thinking of camping you is... You haven't lived, son. No. You really haven't. I what mean. do I need to do? What well, am I prepping? So the first thing you need to think of is who you're going camping with. Right. So the type of people, are you bringing your kids? Are you going away with your wife? Such as, you know. Yeah. And then <laughs> you have to think of like, are you going because it's a cheaper option? Yes. Are you going because you want to connect with nature? You just have to think of the reason why you're you going. See, I love my comfort. Mate. You love your comfort. So, but but camping, you can... it's got better though, hasn't it, in terms yeah. of equipment? It's gone yeah. very posh. I mean, you can have glamping. Yes. Glamping, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, Tell uh, me about this tent. For, so what... Is this hard to put up? Um, I mean, myself and Owen put it up in about three yeah. minutes, but not everybody. It would take us about three days, I'd I was say. watching you doing it, and I'd say, if I was here I have Saturday. to tell you, Megan, I used to go camping to Wexford with my girlfriends, and we would spend hours trying to put up the tent, but it was probably one of the most fun parts of the holiday <laughs> itself. Like, yeah. the whole thing is, yeah. it's a bit of magic, isn't it? Yeah, no, and it it's is. it's an adventure. It's so nice when you finally actually get it up. Get the, but yeah. when you finally, like, actually get it up. Many will this, this sleep now, 15. <laughs> oh, about that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, it's a, it's a four-man <laughs> tent, so... I the idea of yeah. you're thinking uh, about. No. <laughs> uh, the idea of the porch is kind of like to put in your boots, your shoes, and your gear. So see the way it has a little porch on it. Isn't that clever? That's lovely, isn't see? it? It's like a little veranda out the front. Patio. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little patio. Yeah. Uh, so it'd fit about four people, but this would be more so like if you're thinking of going away with your family. Right. You know, so like it's easy to put up. And I mean, you wouldn't camp in that on the side of a mountain. No, you wouldn't, no. Okay. But in terms of comfort then, because you have other little bits and bobs yes. there, because I was saying to you, like, mattresses are... Yep. One, so. This red one fascinates me. This one, The blue one's gorgeous, but the red one's the business. Right. Okay. Like this. As you can see, these ones here... Are so like, these are the basic things you need to buy after you have the tent, Megan. Yeah. Okay. So I, this is like you your can underlay. Have the, you have the tent, but, I mean, you need somewhere to sleep. Yes. So uh, the first thing would be your roll mat. So this would be your most basic one. So this okay. would be kind of like your... It's called a foam roll mat. Yeah. So, but then you have this these one, ones here. This one. So you open the little nozzle and then it just kind of uh, self-inflates. It inflates itself. Okay. So Can we show that? Yep. So. Now, live television. This is going to work perfectly, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm it sorry I asked. Yeah. I'd like to hope. But anyways, you can see that... So that's kind of an upgrade on this then, is it? And the, these so are available in outdoors camping yeah, stores. So, okay. Yeah, so you can like get them in pretty much all camping stores. You'd be able to get your basic foam ones in like Little or Aldi yeah. during the you know summerish months. But you months. can bring a few of the creature comforts like your favourite blanket or your. You know, oh, your of course you can. Of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleep, sleep. I mean, everybody's it? slightly different, but like, is it essential to have a roll mat because the cold does come from the ground? Yeah, of course. So you're better to have more so under you. Under your sleeping bag. Yeah, absolutely. It's now, better so to have more under you than. On you, you know. Something that Anna will be really concerned about when she goes away camping is, is eating. She's eating. obsessed with food. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think we all well, are. <laughs> this is fascinating me, this piece of equipment you have behind you. Yeah, so, it's a combi grill. So this is like your basic cooker. Yeah, it's like <coughs> your basic one that you kind of have at home. Like You have your gas ring, so you attach it up to your gas and you have a grill underneath so you can still have your toast. It's you know? funky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. That. So that's kind of more if you're going on, like, you know, family camp and if you're yeah, kind of yeah. you're not carrying it too far but yeah. for some uh some people they like a more wild camping she's run off she's gone we've she's lost left. her i don't know why but she's left <laughs> but now she's coming back look at this what so, in the name oh, of look at this. Hours, that? okay so like if you're going camping on a mountain or whatever right um this is not ideal to be carrying on your back no, of course yes <laughs> yeah so you this is ideal like for one pot cooking so i can't open it but so it just sits up into a little grill yeah, right oh, yeah so like you can get these really 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 small gas cylinders that are about this size like very clever. and they're really light and then this would have a really powerful flame on it in fairness right. okay and um so you'd be you able cook to cook something on the pot over the flame oh yeah of course like you'd be like the way this sits out if i ever got it open um you'd be able to rest <laughs> you'd be able to rest your pot on top and then you'd be able to cook away so like it'd be ideal for making like rice and pasta and stuff like that. 
tell me you're going to be electric picnic, aren't you, the scouts? The scouts are gone very cool, aren't they? Off to electric picnic. Um, yeah, the scouts go to electric picnic for the last couple of years anyways. To Helping people put up their tents. Yeah, so. Can I just say as well, Gary, if you come over here, uh, she does have a friend with her today, uh, Owen. She does. Where's here I am, Owen. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> the glamour of show business, the poor man's holding the tent down. <laughs> Morning, Owen. Morning. You all right? Good Thanks man. for your help, Owen. Well done, Megan. Thank you very much. No problem at all. Well done. No 